Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the brand Micro Puzzles. So Micro Puzzles are based in the US and um, from looking at their very first Instagram uh, post, they've at least been around since December 2018, so a few years, maybe they're older than that, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, they make these really cute, adorable, mini well, micro puzzles as their name suggests and as far as I know um, all their puzzles are the same piece size so all these ones here are 150 pieces and yeah they all come in these really cute little test tubes and yeah the pieces are very teeny tiny miniature and I'm not sure how I'm going to go picking up these little pieces whether I'm going to need tweezers or if I'll be okay um, but it'll definitely be an interesting experience and yeah I've been wanting to try this brand for quite a while but um, they only just started shipping uh, internationally recently. So yeah, as soon as they started, I jumped at the chance to pick up a few and yeah, decided to go with these five designs. Um, so let's yeah have a closer look. Um, so this one here is called Llama Bama Ding Dong. <laughs> so such a cute, silly name. And yeah, it just features this really adorable, very cute, happy looking, colorful uh, llama. So it's got like, a cactus on its back and a you know very colorful little saddle and some other little like pom-poms wrapped around it and looks like there's some cute colorful lights and yeah it's just really looks really fun so I yeah had to grab that one very cute and then the next one is also very colorful uh, this one's called Schmetterling and yeah basically is this uh, like back background but with all these bright colorful almost like watercolor style butterflies on there so they're all different colors some are sort of radiated colors but yeah we've got you know bright yellows and greens pinks orange yeah like all the colors so i think that one's very pretty um yeah and i think would be very yeah fun to do as well and then the next one i got is a bit more like a realistic style this one's called dino eye and it's sort of like this you know a bit scary looking golden dinosaur eye and from what i can tell i will be putting up images on the screen um there's like, I guess, you know, a sort of green scaled or skin dinosaur peeking through this cluster of ferns. So I guess as if it's in the jungle or something. So yeah, it looks a little bit creepy. And then all in the background, like a different sort of related things like dinosaur eggs and like dinosaur footprints and fossils and plants and things. So yeah, um, I really like dinosaurs or especially as a kid, I love dinosaurs. So this one's a bit nostalgic and I just thought it was a really cool image as well. So yeah, I grabbed that one. And then this next one is also very bright and colorful. I mean, I guess a lot of them are since they're such small puzzles um, that, you know, uh, you know, some of them need to be kind of bold and colorful to be like eye catching at a small size. So this one's called Fish Doodle. And yeah, it's basically this little cute fishy underwater sort of a really like busy packed in patterned scene. So there's like fish and uh, jellyfish and seaweed and shells and bubbles and all sorts of underwater stuff and but everything's very patterned and colorful and yeah it's really cute um, yeah very pretty as well and then the last one I got here is kind of another sort of dinosaur one but this one's called mammoth fun which is I guess slightly ironic since it's a micro puzzle and it's not at all mammoth in size <laughs> but it has a mammoth on it um, but similar to the dino I one it has like you know like fossils and it's got like dinosaur bones and some plants and yeah, it has like this mammoth, I guess, trapped in a big ice block in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's really kind of fun. It's a bit more cartoony than the dino eye one, but yeah, I think that one looks really cool as well. Um, so my plan is for this video, because these are only 150 pieces, I might pick out two and uh, do like a time lapse of both of them. Um, yeah, and then sort of uh, instead of stopping like part way through one since I think it'll be pretty quick to put together we'll just do one and then have a chat about it and then do the next one and so forth um, so in a sec though I'm gonna I guess zoom in because otherwise you won't be able to see anything and yeah we'll take a look at the packaging of these and I'll probably just pick one to open because I'm pretty sure the pieces are more or less the same sort of quality and that sort of thing with each one um, so yeah I guess yeah let's take a closer look all right, so I just grabbed out a whiteboard to put underneath these so you can sort of see things a bit better. Um, so yeah, they all come in these little plastic test tubes and they all have these sort of metal lids. It has like the little 
kind of puzzle symbol, symbol that says micro on it. And then, yeah, more or less the sort of sticker or I guess packaging information is very similar. So on these ones here, you've just got um, the image going across here and then you've got uh, a little scan me for a bigger, I think it says, for a bigger image, can't read that. And it's got a little QR code. So yeah, I guess if you use your phone to scan that, you can see the full image of this, which is good. And then yeah, it's got micro puzzles, massive fun has a little puzzle piece here that says 150 pieces and has a little sort of recycle logo. So I guess you can recycle these test tubes. I'm not too sure why you'd want to. I'm not too sure because you probably want to keep your pieces in there, but maybe you do for some reason. And then there's a barcode and just sort of has like some warnings like choking hazard and that sort of thing. And yeah, so all of these have that same sort of layout um, and info. The only exception is this one here, which um, because the image is portrait, they've just done the sticker slightly differently. So you've got the whole image here and then uh, the micro puzzles logo and the little uh, QR code, the piece number, the little recycle logo, barcode, and then the warnings. So um, I think what I'm going to do is just pick one of these at random to open up. I mean, looking at them, they all look pretty similar. So I'm guessing the sort of piece quality and the you know shapes of the pieces and the thickness and all that's going to be the same. The only thing that is going to be different, um, just looking at these test tubes, is obviously the images are all different. But each one seems to have a plain color on the back. So our mammoth fun has like a forest green. Our fish doodle has like a lime green on the back of the pieces. Um, what's this one? The llama one has like a yellow. Uh, dino eye seems to be orange and. The butterfly one has like a pale blue or teal. Um, so I think let's maybe pick the llama one because that might actually be the one I do first. So let's move these out of the way. And let's open this up. So yeah, just twist off. Oh, okay. So I didn't even realize that, but it actually has a seal on the top here. So let's see if I can open that. Oh yeah, okay. That just opens up pretty easily. Just has the logo on it. Um, and yeah, let's pour these out. Oh, they're very cute. You have to sort of shake them out. They seem to get a little bit stuck in there. I'm sure they'll all come out eventually. And go get some puzzle ASMR while we do that. Um, yeah, so let's move that out of the way. So all the pieces are really teeny tiny. Oh, they make a cool sound and more puzzle ASMR for you. So yes, they're very tiny. I can pick them up, but I think it is definitely going to uh, take some slow puzzling to make sure I don't lose any of these and yeah, and they don't get missing. Um, so uh, let's look at the shapes first. So I think, I mean, we've got obviously little edge and corner pieces, of course, like a normal puzzle. Oh, and I forgot to mention the size of these. So it doesn't actually have it printed on the uh, containers or the packaging, but I think from memory, their final sort of size of the puzzle ends up being four by six inches and I have to look up the centimeters and I'll pop all that on the screen. Um, so looking at the pieces though, apart from edges, it does look like we only have like kind of one piece shape, which is the two tabs. So I'm not really seeing any other variation. They all look yeah, they all look the same. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know why that is. I guess that's just the die cut that they use. It's a couple that was sort of stuck together here. Oh, they haven't been fully cut through. Maybe we'll leave those. I don't want to like damage it. So might have to use a scalpel to try and cut those or I'll just leave them. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so they all seem to be just, yeah, two tabs. Um, I don't know, they all look about the same length. I don't know if any are really like shorter than the others. So that's gonna be interesting to see whether we get false fits or not. We might because we don't really have, doesn't seem to be much piece variation, even amongst all these little two tabs, they kind of look the same. So yeah, um, but yeah, maybe there are certain limitations when making micro puzzles as to the piece shapes that are available in the die cuts, who knows? or because they're so small, maybe uh, having like different types of pieces might cause problems um, being so such a small scale. Yeah, I don't know, but it's sort of interesting. Anyway, so let's, I guess, 
look at the pieces. So the back, as you can see, the backs actually have this yellow. Um, so I guess it is just like a paper stuck on there. It's a paper back. Um, and then the thickness, well, I mean, it's a bit hard to talk about the thickness. I mean, I guess for a tiny weeny piece, they seem thick. But I mean, like, it's a bit hard to compare these to a normal puzzle because it's just not. Um, I mean, I guess they seem... I'm sure I could easily bend them, but they don't seem too flimsy, actually, surprisingly. For a tiny weeny piece, they actually feel kind of strong. And yeah, and I guess a reasonable thickness. Thick enough that I can, even with my uh, fake gel nails, I can still pick them up actually pretty easily, so that's good. And then, yeah, the top uh, just has the image and it's smooth and I guess a little bit glossy. So there's a bit of sheen on there. Um, so yeah, I'll we'll have to see how much of an issue that is. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm not expecting these to be the most amazing quality. They are just sort of a cute little fun 150 piece puzzle to do. It's a bit of a novelty. You know, I don't think we're expecting the yeah, greatest, most amazing uh, quality here. So I think as long as it's a fun puzzle to do. It's not too frustrating and we get to have our fun image at the end. Then I think that's all that counts really. So I think, um, yeah, let's put this one together. So yeah, let's, yeah, let's get into some puzzling. I'm back and you'll have to excuse the sudden hair change. I am actually filming this video over two different days, but let's talk about the important thing here, which is this really teeny, weeny, cute, adorable llama puzzle. It's just, it's just so adorable. I love it. It's so colorful and just sweet. And I had a lot of fun putting this together and really love how it's turned out. Um, yeah, definitely, I guess, met my expectations for, you know, a micro puzzle and in my opinion, what is like kind of a novelty puzzle. Um, I guess still, let's have a quick chat about the quality. So the pieces are all two tabs, I mean, except the edge pieces, um, but they are a different cut. They don't all fit in each other's spot. But that being said, there were some false fits. Um, the fit itself is kind of more on the snug side. So some pieces or like little mini sections did hold together okay. And I'm actually tempted to try and do a puzzle pickup in a sec. We'll see how that goes. Could be a failure. <laughs> um, anyway, and of course, being a tiny puzzle, the picture is a lot smaller, so it can be a little bit tricky seeing all the details, which I think contributed to some of my false fits. It's also a little bit glary, um, especially under my lighting. I don't know. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. Everyone's lighting situation is different. But yeah, the surface is more on the glossy side, so just something to note. But I was thinking actually, because it's the de details are so tiny, it could be handy having a magnifying glass, especially if you struggle seeing some tiny details or you just want a bit of an easier time putting these together. I was thinking as well, like this is more of a, I guess, bold image compared to, or like a bigger, <laughs> bigger image compared to some of these. Cause like some of these, like the pattern ones have a lot of very tiny details. So they're going to be very, very small at this size. Um, so that's going to be interesting to do these other ones. Um, yeah. So I think for some, some of you, you might prefer using a magnifying glass to put this together. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, there pretty much was no dust. So that's great, especially if you, you know, you want to have one of these on your desk at work. You don't want a messy puzzle. This is a great little option. Um, and again, back to teeny tiny pieces. I was thinking, I mean, I didn't have too much trouble picking them up. Surprisingly, I thought with these sausage fingers, it was going to be a struggle. But no, I could still sort of pick them up. Obviously, it's more tricky than your normal piece size or shape, but um, you know, it wasn't too bad. But that being said, it could still be handy to have like a large 
pair of tweezers or something that you could sort of pick these up with, especially if you struggle with like lifting up small objects and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think overall, despite having some cons, it still was a lot of fun. It still meets my expectations. I'm not, wasn't expecting the world from kind of a novelty puzzle, but yeah. So should we try a puzzle pickup? How do we do this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh my God, I'm actually surprised. Ta -da! This is so cute guys. <laughs> I definitely recommend trying this at least once in your life just to have this fun little experience. Oh, okay, well it survived pretty well. Um, so I guess now that we've done this fun little party trick, um, let's quickly talk about which puzzle I'm gonna do next. So speaking of small details, and because I like to torch myself and I don't even have a magnifying glass handy or even in my whole house, um, I thought I'd do a fun, uh, really detailed one <laughs> that I'm gonna struggle to see. So this is the, I think it's called Fish Doodle. And it's got a lot of, it's really bright and colorful and has some quite bold patterns, but there is a lot going on here. So I think this will be an interesting test um, to see how these like much smaller little patterns and details go putting it together. Um, I think I also forgot to mention when I was first talking about this puzzle uh, before doing it, what my strategy was, but now I'm like, these are 150 pieces. Do I need a strategy? <laughs> uh, I think, you know, it's going to be just more of an intuitive process. Just lay out all the pieces and kind of put together what makes sense, whether that's maybe on this one, it might be the edge pieces first. Um, this one, it certainly wasn't because there's just too much blue and green, but it was a bit of a mix. But yeah, I think either way, this should still be fun. Um, hopefully, you know, it doesn't, uh, you know, hurt my brain too much putting this together. But no, I think it'll look really cute once it's done. So yeah, I guess let's try this out and get into some puzzling. I finished the fish doodle puzzle and it is looking really cute as well. I just love the bright colors and the really pretty patterns. And yeah, it was just really fun to do. And actually it wasn't as tricky as I thought it would be. I thought all the tiny little details and patterns would be a bit difficult, but actually the way it's been designed is that there's no real big chunks of the same color. There's a lot of either patterns dividing up colors or there's little bits of colors everywhere. So it's actually quite, uh, easy to figure out where the pieces go. I think it was probably easier than the llama puzzle because the llama puzzle had the sort of solid blue background. I guess it's a little bit gradiated, but yeah, it has like a lot of areas that have the same color or pattern in it, whereas this is just really varied and mixed, so a lot easier to figure out where stuff goes. And this one took only 36 minutes. I don't know if I mentioned how long this one took, but the llama one took me about 40 minutes, so they're both pretty quick, but yeah, this one ended up being faster. And then in terms of quality, uh, the fish doodle one ended up pretty much having all the same pros and cons, and it was the same quality experience as the llama puzzle. Um, I just forgot to mention though, uh, previously, that in both of these actually, there are some pieces that are still sort of stuck together. Um, some are just, they have been cut, but they're just, haven't separated, so easy to pull apart. But I think both of these had a couple pieces that were still uh, not fully cut through on the paper backing. So I'll probably have to get a scalpel and just sort of separate those. Um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, all the same stuff. And uh, yeah, really had fun doing these and I'm really excited. I actually really wanna do the other three now. Um, but uh, before we wrap things up in a minute, talking about price and that sort of thing, let's uh, do the very important puzzle pickup. Ta-da! I'm never gonna get sick of this. 
So on the MicroPuzzles website, these all retail for $8.99 US. Of course, uh, if you're ordering from outside the US, you have to factor in things like shipping, any taxes, currency conversion, that sort of thing. I think when I ordered these though, I did have a promo code which helped a bit, so that was great. So I guess keep an eye out for any upcoming sales, maybe Black Friday or other promo codes. And I'm not going to talk about whether I recommend these for that price, because uh, it's gonna vary depending where you are in the world, I guess. Although if you're from the US, you can always let us know if you think the $8.99 is a reasonable and affordable price. Uh, so I guess the question is, would I recommend these puzzles? And yeah, I have to say, I definitely recommend micro puzzles. I think they're really fun and cute and I just had a really good time. I really enjoyed putting them together and I'm definitely keen to do the other three. And I think just overall, they, they would be a fun addition to any puzzle collection. I mean, they're perfect if you wanna take them on holidays with you, you can just throw a couple in your backpack or something. You know, great if you wanna have some at work. Um, and of course they make perfect gifts, so great for a stocking stuffer or even a secret Santa, something like that. So yeah, I think they're really just a fun option. Um, of course, like the quality is not the most exceptional quality, but it kind of met my expectations for what this product is, which to me is kind of more of a novelty item. And it's only just a little 150 piece puzzle, so it doesn't need to have the best quality ever. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, it did the job and the, the puzzles look great and they were just really fun. And of course you could do puzzle pickups with them as well. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of these micro puzzles. Have you tried any of their puzzles or other teeny tiny puzzles before? And if not, a mini puzzle something that you'd like to try. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jimmy where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.